I'm Lizzie and welcome to my garden here at Rose Press. Today I'm going to show you how I grow zinnias from seed. Now zinnias are absolutely gorgeous flowers that flower quite late into the summer all the way up to that first frost in autumn so they're brilliant for our gardens for when we really want that late colour when we're holding on to our flowers. Um, they come in loads of different colours, loads of bright colours and also some new paler varieties coming out which I'm really excited about. So I am growing zinnias, I've grown them before but this is the first time I'm growing them for my garden so I think what I'm going to do is grow them in, um, sow them now in the normal way and rather than planting them out straight away I'm going to put some in pots and I'm going to try and hold on to them and put them in places where I'm going to lose colour later on in the season. So where I put my sweet peas, when they come down in August, because I hate the scraggly look of sweet peas when they've gone over, I'll then pull them down and plant my zinnias in big pots in that area. I might also plant some out and out, but I haven't quite decided, but I'm really excited for the late colour that's going to come from these zinnias. Um, so zinnia seeds are quite large, so quite easy to sow. And what we'll do is pop them in a pot. I've already done one there, so I'm just going to go on to my second one. And I'm going to, in this sort of size pot, I'm going to probably going to put five in a pot, which is more than we usually would, but I, they germinate quite quickly and then I'll prick them out into their own individual pots later. And the reason I'm putting a few more in is because space is a premium. There's not too much space in my zippy or greenhouse at the moment um, at this time of year. So I prefer to sow my zinnias into pots um, in kind of March, April time. And then when it gets to a bit late in the season, you can direct sow them, but you have slightly less um, strong results. So I do like to put mine in pots where I can watch them and make sure that they're getting the right um, the right kind of temperatures and, and moisture levels. So zinnias are really simple. You can place them exactly where you want them. You just lay them flat in um, the pot. I'm gonna put five, if I can pick that one up, five in here. So I've got five in there and then I'm just going to top it with some compost. They don't need light on the seeds to germinate. So pop that on there and then I will pop a label in it. I've run out, um, but I will make sure that I label both of those up because as soon as um, you only, if you only label one pot, you will get them mixed up. So make sure you label every single pot that you're, that you're sowing. And then I'll pop them inside on a windowsill if it's slightly earlier, but if it's late in the season and you're, and you're sowing yours a bit later and it is warm, then you could put them straight into a zippy um, to germinate as well. So make sure I give them a good water and keep them indoors until they germinate. And then I'll prick them out after probably about four weeks into their own individual pots. And then you can either plant them out into the garden or into containers. Um, we'll make sure that we feed them to make sure that they're really strong and healthy. There's a video coming on that um, soon too on my website and IGTV. But zinnias are beautiful. I can't wait to see all of the um, amazing colours that you are all growing. I'm sure lots of you have got zinnias firmly on your list. Um, so send me on your photos and thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful.